In spring next year, we're hoping to launch a major campaign that's going to get up to 13 million adults engaging in the arts. We've done a lot of research that suggests that there are about that many people on the brink of engaging, and we just need to use this campaign to push them over the edge. At the moment, we've got stacks of research that tells us who's interested in the arts and why some people aren't. But with research, you can't ask it questions. So today we're hoping to try out some real ideas and say to people, look, if we did this, would it make a difference? I'm Margaret and I just like the theatre. <laughs> I'm interested in, you know, playing music instruments. I always want to play like piano. It's really interesting coming face to face with the audience members that you are talking about and seeing what they think. If it's something to do with families and kids, it, it has to really be when the kids are on holiday. Yeah. Otherwise, if it's on inconvenient times, then you just can't. Like, for example, I know in theatres, like, a lot of them have matinee shows, say, on a Wednesday for a cheaper price. Whereas if you're an adult and you're working, you can't ever, ever make, take advantage of something like that. When you're stuck in a venue, stuck in an office, and you're trying to think about um, how you're going to get 20,000 people to come and see one particular play, you do perhaps make generalisations, and it's really interesting to talk to people you've never met before and, real, you know, realise that people have all sorts of different motivations and thoughts about arts attendance. I'm a bit funny because I'm, I may know about it, but I tend not to be bothered. So I just need something to give me that, you know, that certain something that I can wake up. Yes, yes, yes. But I wouldn't know where to start looking. I was just about to say, where do you go? I don't think there's enough information. I don't think it's actually channeled through to somebody who's my profile to say, well, this is happening or you can be a part of it. It's not in your face, so to speak. I was full of trepidation before I came. And she said, why? And I said, I don't think I'm arty enough, really. But I, th I think I am now. Art is a word that a lot of people shy away from. They associate it with things that they might not like or is just above them intellectually, you know, sort of and, and it isn't, you know, it isn't like that. And the thing is to get that message really over to those people and um, I'm going to do my best. <laughs> there are definitely ways in which organisations like ourselves in localities can actually, like a ripple effect, drop the the stone in the pond right outside their door, get people in, and then the word of mouth will definitely help more people to come into the institution or the event or whatever it is you're organising. A lot of people now won't go to theatre or anything like that and do art things but don't realise that they're doing it. It's about accessibility, so it's not really about dumbing down or coming up with a new arts offer, it's about representing almost what's already there and saying, you know, you probably would really enjoy this. The reason that you don't necessarily go to the opera, for example, is perhaps because you don't know which opera to pick. So we'll help you do that. It's about just saying that the answer's for you. It's dispelling any myths of elitism. And it's just about having fun. The key thing is that for the Arts Council, great art for everyone is something that we can all believe in. And so the campaign, I think, is a way of saying, OK, how is it that we can, with sustained effort, both nationally and very, very importantly, locally as well, work with people to give them the confidence and give them the tools to attend arts events and participate in the arts more. Oh, I do yeah. more than a play. Taught me the follow spot at the local theatre, but I'd love to go in up to my elbows and learn all the rest of it, if you know what I mean. Most of the people we work with um, don't even think about it because they're just not part of that market. And the question is, what else can the arts do for the part of society that doesn't go to venues? It's been a really interesting and I think very, very productive day. I mean, it's mined such a lot of information and opinions. Um, the debate has been absolutely fantastic. People have engaged very, very positively and thoroughly. I think I think Andrew's wrong there because I think if if people don't see the artists in the streets, never know, never going to know it's in the first place. No, and I think I'm not disagreeing that that that, that experience of seeing performers or whatever in the street is a good general background to people engaging and enjoying the art. We want to build up a community of people who are interested in talking about all of these things and talking about what kinds of arts um, events and activities they like going to and what there should be more of and, and you know that's 
what we want to create and it feels like something that people want to be part of. Yeah. Those sort of where you feel you're going to get more of more, it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's actually it's really about saying, saying it's all saying you're going to be excited. It's been good. <laughs> Everything on, that I've taken on board has played some kind of relevance to me, but I like to get involved.